So this is an attempt to demonstrate the uh, use of access control lists between uh, multiple users in real time. So I have two windows open. Um, the top window is logged in to a Chrome browser as user Gareth and the bottom window is logged in to Firefox um, user another user. Uh, now each user has access to a unique but overlapping set of resources, so three organizations for Gareth and only two for another user, for example. Um, yet, um, both users have access to the Crossbar and Mad Penguin organizations. So if I open up Crossbar for user Gareth, there's a whole bunch of domains in there, uh, one of which um, should be one called Realm 1. Uh, and Realm 1 has some attached resources uh, namely platforms and if I open up crossbar for another user another user has access to most of the realms uh, but not to, to realm 1 so um, to try and make this a little easy to see the first thing I'm going to do is if I go to realm 1 uh, I'm going to transfer that to the mad penguin organization because there are fewer things attached to it and save that away um, nothing changed down here because another user has no access currently to Realm 1. But if I go back to the network overview um, and close Crossbar, you can see that it's moved Realm 1 uh, from Crossbar to Mad Penguin. So the next step, if I go back to Realm 1 again, um, if we say, uh, right, so uh, Realm 1, um, add another user, another user, and save that away. Let's close that and do a save. Okay, so Mad Penguin can now see uh, Realm A, which it had anyway, but it now has visibility over Realm 1. If I try and open Realm 1, nothing happens because although we have access to Realm 1, we don't have access to the attached resources. So if we go into Realm 1 up here and look at the platforms and give access to another user for each of these platforms you can see underneath it's adding um, as we go access to those platforms okay um, similarly if we want to uh, remove access to those platforms go back into the realm again if we just take off another user as a, uh, a valid or authorized user and save that. It, it immediately removes access to both um, the realm and any sub resources like platforms. So we, we no longer have access to realm one down here. Um, but obviously, the um, um, other um, authorized users still have access. So I, I still have access in, in, in my top window. Um, if we have a look uh, at uh, the realm itself and the platforms you can see um, authorized user not there um, I can actually add uh, access to individual resources um, so if we had authorized user back for a platform um, but in order to get to that so a user can work with it um, I'm still going to need to give access uh, at, at realm level Okay, and there's one platform there that's currently available. Okay.